Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how you can create this ultra realistic paper grunge texture effect for your video effects. Let's go. My name is Evan Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned, today we're gonna to be teaching you guys how to add some texture and extra grunge effects to your videos, just to spice up your videos and add some extra depth. It's a really simple tutorial. All you'll be needing today is Premiere Pro. But before we get started, I just wanted to mention if you're interested in saving yourself some time while editing and not having to watch the full length of all these tutorials on our channel, you can definitely check out 11%.net, our preset pack store where we sell all of our projects and basically all the stuff that we teach in these tutorials in a compressed zip file that you can just download, import into your project, and boom, you have all the effects already ready for you. You don't have to do any of the editing. It really saves me a bunch of time, especially while editing. So I definitely recommend checking it out if you're a video editor and interested in saving yourself a lot more time. Because seriously guys, the client timelines are not getting any longer. Without further ado though, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. All right guys, so now that we're inside of After Effects, right here I have a music video clip loaded up from the Playboy Cardi music video, which by the way, no shade to Cardi, this is an ass music video, bro. Like this is one of the most ass music videos I've ever seen. But don't worry, that's why we're gonna spice it up today. Anyways, so the first thing that we're gonna do, adding texture to your music music videos. I think one of the first key elements um, of the type of texture that we're going to be adding this paper grunge aesthetic is adding multiple layers to our video clips as well. So before we even begin, I'm going to go to my effects and presets right here and I'm going to search for the crop effect right here and I'm going to drag this to our top layer. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the right crop just a tad bit and then I'm just going to go ahead and reposition that so that that like Goyard case is in the left side of the screen and then I'm just going to go ahead and adjust the position position so that uh, his shoes are on the right. So now if you play this out, we have this nice like collage looking effect. And it looks kind of cool if you ask me. I'm gonna go ahead and trim it down because it's too long for me. Once we have that now, we are ready to go ahead and dive into our effects. So in my last tutorial, we actually created this nice little collage paper rip effect, which you can check out right here. And in that video, we used a like paper rip sample template that I created myself, which is linked below in the description at 11%.net. You can sign up to our email list and get the preset entirely for free. It's just a really simple MP4 file. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag that in right here on top of this clip. So you can see if we play this out, this is this nice little like paper rip effect. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to change the blending mode to screen and boom, there we go. Now we have this nice little paper rip effect in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and line it up so that it lines up pretty much with the center. Now you're going to have some scenes where it is just going to be a little bit off and you're going to be able to see the, uh, the line in between because we're going to be adding this grunge paper effect after uh, it will pretty much cancel it out and your audience won't really even notice it that much so boom there we go we have this nice little like rip effect in the middle kind of makes everything a little bit cool and stop motion like now shout out to my boy creativeflowmarket.com go make sure to check out his website he has one of the most absolutely insane grunge paper effects i don't know if there's anybody out there who does the best mixed media textures it is definitely creative flow so if you want to go check out his presets you can check it out at creativeflowmarket.com absolutely insane pack right here you can cop it but i'm going to be using his grunge paper texture effect now quick disclaimer we are going to show later in the tutorial how to actually make some grunge effects from scratch without having to go out and buy a preset pack so if you're interested you can go ahead and check out this timestamp right here but right now i'm just going to go ahead and drag on this creative flow market uh grunge like paper stop motion texture i'm going to change the blending mode to screen and boom there we go you can see we have this nice really dope looking grunge effect now everything is looking really good there's just one last thing that we need to change and tweak and that is the frame rate everything right here the effects are all in like 12 frames per second and the video is 24 frames per second so i'm going to select these bottom two layers right click them and then nest them you can name it whatever you want okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for the posterized time effect right here in my effects drag it onto the nested clip change the frame rate to 12 frames per second and boom voila there we go now we have a sick nice collage looking effect and now for those of you who are looking to create some of your own grunge paper effects and actually adding texture to your videos like mentioned in the title completely for free on your own there's two methods okay so the first method is of course actually going out and getting some like real media right here so this is like a newspaper i know can you believe that uh this is a real newspaper and what you can do is you can actually go ahead 
take some pictures of the paper or maybe you have some black crumpled up paper um, and then you can go ahead go into Photoshop mask those out and then you can just basically go ahead and drag that onto your video footage but right now I'm going to show you the digital method which I like to call it digital hunting and this is the method which I usually prefer to do because all these other methods right here like take so much work and actually doing stuff IRL which I'm a video editor so fuck that I'm gonna go to Google Chrome and I'm literally gonna search for crumpled black texture papers and you can see already there's a crap ton of free digital assets that you can use but if you're a video editor and you're not selling any of these I don't see the harm in using these so what I'm gonna do is, is like you can go to certain websites and what you can basically just do is just go ahead and grab some screenshots so I can just hit command shift 4 and just screenshot some of these black textures and drag that into my project file so I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat that process and find a couple of black crumpled paper textures so now that we have three different black crumpled paper textures in our project after just doing some very light Google searching what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scale them all up so that they fit the composition size of course so boom there you go scaled up and scaled up now once they're all scaled up you're gonna select Select all of them right click them and hit speed duration and then I'm going to change the speed duration from four seconds long to something around like zero three so like a third of a second and it's gonna be really short but don't worry it's gonna work out perfectly we're gonna hit sequence and we're just simply gonna hit close gap so that way once you play it out you have this nice little paper stop motion animation effect I'm just gonna hold option or alt if you're on PC and just duplicate this a bunch of times boom there you go select them all again once again sequence close gap and boom voila there you go you have a nice sick like paper stop motion effect now the only issue with creating effects uh, from Google and just screenshots is sometimes the papers can be really inconsistent so the crumpling like this one might be really off compared to this one so you just want to adjust the color and position and scale so it sh honestly shouldn't be too much but of course creating them in person is always gonna be the best result then I'm just gonna select all of them nest them and boom there we go now we have our nice little texture file I'm gonna go ahead and drag this texture file over one of our clips so let's go back to our main file right here and voila now I can just drag it on top of this clip select the nested clip we're going to change the blending mode to screen and boom there we go now you can see we have this nice like stop motion effect applied over our video and once again I'm gonna go ahead and drag on the posterized time effect and change the frame rate to 12 frames so that it fits the like stop motion effect more and boom there we go we have this nice texturized like paper effect that we just created off of Google added some texture to our videos completely for free didn't buy a super expensive preset pack but once again of course if you're interested make sure to check out creativeflowmarket.com Andrew really is like killed it on that preset pack so I definitely recommend checking that one out if you're interested in copying any texture pack and lastly one thing I always love to do for all of my effects I just say it's pretty much the sauce that every video editor needs to add is camera shake so I'm gonna go ahead and drag on an adjustment layer from my project panel I'm gonna go ahead and trim it down to about three frames frames before the cut and three frames after the cuts and by the way we are uh, in a sequence settings of 24 frames per second so the sequence settings is 23.976 frames per second and now I'm gonna go back to my effects panel and I'm gonna search for tiny tapes fast movement preset pack another amazing creator out there man shout out Jacob tiny tapes he actually killed it with his camera shake movement pack which is just absolutely insane I, I've been really loving it I'm gonna go ahead and drag on his fast movement one effect and you can see if we play that boom it just created a nice sick camera movement that just shook it up and like transition to the next scene and we can by the way do this for any clip that you want you just have to make sure the frame rate um, is the perfect length so we're just gonna do once again three frames before three frames after and then let's go ahead and use faster movement five let's see how that plays out and boom there we go there's just another fast movement in between it just absolutely spices up the videos and talk about adding camera movement that really changes the game so there you guys have it some nice clips with texture that we created pretty much all for free with the exception of the creative flow texture pack which you can check out at creativeflowmarket.com right here and if you're interested in copying the tiny tapes shake it up preset pack then you can go check it out at tinytapes.ca and if you're interested in copying tiny tapes fast movement texture pack bundle you can go ahead and check it out here at tinytapes.ca he has a bunch of crazy preset packs that you can literally just cop from his store you can go ahead and check it out using our referral link in the description so you help us out help him out spread the love for everybody but with that guys here is the final result 
If you guys made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. If you managed to find any value or help from this video, please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. It's free. All this content is free. So really, it'd mean the world to me. And once again, if you're interested in copying some of the preset packs featured in today's video, you can check out tinytapes.ca for those artificial camera shakes that we use. And you can also check out creativeflowmarket.com for his mixed media paper pack, which I really highly recommend. It's probably one of the best paper preset packs out there. Just, just being dead serious. And also, sorry not to bump you guys but if you're interested in checking out our presets at our store 11percent.net you can definitely do that check out the link in the description and i do want to say we do have a very unique special offer we're actually looking to bring on extra vendors to our store so if you're interested in becoming a preset pack seller and making some extra passive income as a video editor without having to fully rely on clients as your source of income definitely make sure to check out the link in the description the seller application form it's completely for free we have no upfront costs or anything like that we actually have a free course even that we teach editors how to turn their skills and their video editing styles into actual preset packs. So if you're that video editor, that videographer, and you often get those questions like, yo, how did you create that effect? Or bro, that style of editing is so cool. Like, how did you do that? But you don't want to spill the free sauce, then you can definitely sell the sauce for money. You can check out our marketplace at 11percent.net and become a seller. And we give all of our sellers a generous 89% of their profit proceeds leaving us only with 11%, hence the name. So if you're interested, or if you know anybody might be interested, definitely make sure to check out the link in the description one last time. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.